This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Dropcam.com and their newest cloud-based web cameras. Visit TPN.TV slash Dropcam. All right, next up. Saw you guys last night. You were one of those one of those booths that was so busy we couldn't even. We, I was like peeking over. It's like, ah, should we do that? Well, let's just wait to see if they're they're probably going to be at CES, so it won't be a big deal. So we got Tim Murphy here, and then of course you're with a company called Airdrop. Airdrop Gaming. All right, and yep. I got to see a little bit of it, and I was really excited. But uh, what what's what's Airdrop all about? So um. Airdrop Gaming, we're a gaming accessories company for Xbox and PlayStation and those types of gaming consoles, PC included. Um, and we're trying to focus on brand new innovative product. Uh, so we're not another controller, we're not another headset. We're trying to do blue sky innovation. We're starting off with the HipShot Dot as our first product out of the okay. gates. And cool then name, more to by come. The way. Oh, thanks, thanks. So, yes. so what is the HipShot Dot? So it's basically a red dot site that attaches to your television uh, for playing games like Call of Duty, Halo, Battlefield. <laughs> um, and it works fantastic with the brand new games coming out. The uh, Tom Clancy, The Division, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Titanfall, um, some of the, the newer, bigger names, uh, Destiny. Um, so it's, yeah. So how does it work? Well, it's uh, just that. It's a red dot site that physically attaches to the screen of your television or monitor. Okay. Uh, so you. So if, if this is the monitor, let's 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 go to the product camera here. Let's say yep. this is the monitor. Does it, it'll work this way? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So let's say this is the monitor. Yep. You want to tear this out of here and? Sure. Okay. Unless you can't. No, it's fine. Okay. Perfect. Let's take it out. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, if you're most of the time, you'll be playing on, you know, probably a 27 inch up to oh, yeah, yeah. 80 inch or what have you. So yeah, it's a. Basically, you have. Two connection points. Actually, I do. I I, I do my, an iPad game, uh, iPad uh, uh, review. Kind of first person program, shooter. So I do thing. have a first person shooter. On yeah, my pull iPad it up. Here. This will be way out of proportion. Call but of Duty. You'll definitely get an idea. Call of Duty First Strike <laughs> by Activision. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I don't know if I should be showing here. that on the, if there's copyright issues or anything like that. So, but anyway, so you uh, what do you uh, put that on? Yeah, there? unfortunately, I'd, if we had a USB. I could plug it in and light her up. But okay. Um, so it's a glowing red dot. Okay. Uh, it's, it's replacing the old gamer trick of taking a piece of tape and you put it on your television. Yeah. You, you put I've a little sharp. That. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've, I've done it since Doom for a decade, right? Um, so the idea was let's take it to the next level. And so now you have a glowing red dot, which looks fantastic on the television uh, okay. when playing these games. So um, got to go in here. Oh. 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 Anyway. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Okay, we got something. The idea. So let's just put it on there and go. So yeah, exactly. So you, you attach it to your television, um, and when you you can plug it into your uh, USB port on your Xbox or PlayStation, um, or if you have a extra charger, iPhone charger, anything that uh, you know supplies USB power, plug okay. it in. It'll light up, and you go. All right. Uh, if I, I actually have the dongle that's sitting back at the at my hotel room. We could have plugged it in here. Would it <laughs> work, actually work on an iPad, or does it not work you know, that way? Well, when you get into a screen this small, honestly, the proportion of red dot to the screen size is okay. probably going to be a little bit too much red dot. Okay. Um, so when you get into a screen, you know, 24 inch on up, it, it looks a lot better. All and right. of course, if you're playing on a 42 inch, it's even better because the the red dot. Proportionally, is getting smaller so, compared to the rest of the, the game. So the idea is just so you can keep aligned with what you're doing? or Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it, it changes the way you, you play a bit. Because now, uh, where you typically have a red dot sight on your favorite weapon in Call of Duty, for example, now you can take that in-game red dot sight off, replace it with the hip shot dot, okay. which looks fantastic. And now you can try you know exploring maybe some other attachments that you never thought of using or that you wanted to use, but you just didn't want to get rid of your existing red dot site. So it does change the way you play a bit. And also, um, yeah, just that it's hip shot dot. Now that you have that red dot always where you're going to shoot, um, you can run and gun from the hip a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's like tennis tape on a tennis racket. 
You know, it, it just helps your game a bit. If you <laughs> suck, you're going to suck a little less. Yeah. If you're really good, you're going to maybe change up the way you play and try some different things. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, attaching it to a TV, is there any issues with something like that? Uh, you know, besides the, the, the only issue uh, is if you're using an older computer monitor that maybe has a little bit more porous screen to it. And so you may have to lick it and stick it on. Okay. Um, but that's worst case scenario. So you got to do the old fashioned lick and stick, then shoot. And then uh, but otherwise, yeah. yeah, any newer TV with a more of a gloss finish, it'll stick right on. And, and we have what's called the Mad Mother release. So if you're a 12 year old and your mom comes down at 3 a.m. and catches you playing Call of Duty, you should have went to bed at 10. Yeah. Um, if she comes up and rips the wire, it will pop right off. There's a, the quick release is built right into the wire, so you don't have to worry about damaging the hip shot dot. Um, when you're playing, so. Oh, okay, there you go. And then the second suction cup, which I didn't show here, attachment point, goes on the bottom of your television, and it basically holds your, your wire straight when you're playing the game. Okay, so it doesn't get in the way while you're playing. Yeah, so. exactly. I know that, uh, some folks, you know, when they, when they see this out of the box and not in gameplay, they question the wire, but you really have to get this on a TV and experience it, and the wire just disappears. And uh, especially when you're in your man cave and you have no lights on, it just... I would imagine on like a 42-inch monitor, that wire is thinner than a pixel would be. On yeah, the screen. exactly. It just kind of, and, and a lot of times it's in the gameplay. That zone is usually your rifle or some part yeah. of the game that you don't even really care about. So it's kind of out of your line of sight. Okay. So, what kind of price points are we looking at? It's for this? $29.99. It's okay. full MSRP. Um, we're available at AirdropGaming.com on on our online store. Amazon also. Um, we'll actually be in Target in 100 stores uh, this spring. Um, Myers in the Midwest, uh, Myers on the West Coast. And uh, we're here at the show to keep expanding the customer base and get these out to gamers. Now, I'm, I'm not much of a gamer, but I, I definitely will have to try that and see if it helps my gaming build. Because, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people that's like, no, I want to go right, I want to go right, I want to go right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it, it does help you focus. I mean, you see that red light, and you, now you're always like, all right, so, boy, I'm looking right dead center of the screen now where maybe before you're kind of drifting a little bit here and there. So it, it definitely changes the way you play the game, and, and it improves it. Okay. So, yeah. I like that. Where do people go for more information? Uh, AirdropGaming.com. AirdropGaming.com. AirdropGaming. All right. Yeah. Thank Thanks you very for much for your time. Appreciate yeah, it. Definitely. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You know, if it wasn't for our sponsors, we wouldn't be doing the CES 2014 action. Dropcam is one of those sponsors. They have great prices available for cameras that you can put anywhere in your house. You know, if I had a drop cam, I could actually set it up in the living room and see what's going on. You know, with the frigid temperatures that we had last week, I could have checked it on the house, made sure that the power was still going or made sure that there wasn't any other problems, listened in if there, if I could hear something and go from there. So check it out. Go over and check out all the drop cam models. Go over to tpn.tv forward slash drop cam tpn.tv forward slash dropcam. Of course, it'll help our CES 2014 coverage. Thank you very much, Dropcam.